Hello everybody, my name is Fitterspace, and today I'm going to show you how to speedrun Chain Reaction. So this is a really complicated level, and there's a lot going on. There's going to be a lot of save states, and I'm going to be explaining a lot. It's going to be a really long video. I'm going to show two ways to do, to do this level. Uh, one with glitches, and one without glitches. But with glitches, there's multiple ways to do this level, even still. So really there's going to be like three or four different ways so I'm going to show you how to do this level. So the first thing you want to do right off of spawn, you're going to have a winter tactical sniper in your hands. You want to press left on the d-pad to get out your micro camera and jump down this vent. But once you jump down this vent, what I see a lot of people do, and I used to do this too, is I used to crouch to get under this thing here. But you don't actually have to crouch, you can just walk through it. See that? You can't go back through it though. But, you get out the camera, and run through here. Now, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to take a picture of this jetpack prototype, like that. But, what you can do to save a little bit of time is jump, take the picture while you're falling down. I'm going to show that again. You go down here, you don't have to crouch, jump and take the picture while you're falling down. So hold L as you're jumping, take the picture while you're falling down. That saves a little bit of time by doing that. Like I said, what I've seen a lot of people do, is I see a lot of people take the picture like that and then run down here and do some glitches. So go down here. You can hold the C stick forward to like move left and right, up and down uh, while you're taking the picture. So while you're in the air you can hold C stick forward to move forward. See that? Did you see that I was moving forward? So I would have landed like back here but I landed up here. Which is convenient, because we're actually going to do a glitch right here. So, I'm just going to make a save state to get some of my health back. Oh, I missed that, actually. That's kind of bad. So we're going to do a glitch here. I'm going to make a save state. So we're going to do a glitch. There's two ways you can do this glitch. You can do it in this corner or this corner. I like this corner, this corner's faster. But if you don't like to do, the to do the glitch right there, you can do it here. Also, if you're playing on 00 agent difficulty, you can't do this clip. You have to do this clip in this corner. And I'll show this one later, but I'm gonna show this one first. The one behind the wooden pallets. So this is only you can only do this on agent difficulty, or the operative difficulty, I mean. So, just like the exchange. See, with a lot of clips in this game, you hold forward and press X and right D-pad. But you can't do that here. Just like the exchange, you have to take a little step back and then do the clip. You see that? So you go up to it, take a little step back, and then do the clip. And if you don't know how to do the wall clips, uh, I have a video about that. I'm going to briefly explain it here. Uh, but you go up into a corner that you can't crouch out of. So you see I'm stuck right here. Even if I'm pressing X or Y, I can't uncrouch. So you cycle through your weapons and you uncrouch at the same time while you're moving into a corner. And then you press X again and you fall through the floor. So... Anyway, that's what you do here. You go up, take a little step back, and do the clip. Wow, I messed that up. Wow, I messed it up again. Alright, so you press Y as soon as you clip out of bounds. So you clip out of bounds like right about there. Uh, you have to press Y after you do the clip, and you want to land on this piece of ground. It's very important that you land on this piece of ground. So you go up here, and as soon as you clip out of bounds, I'm going to show you what happens if you don't press Y or X. So I'm clipping, moving really slow by the way, you see that? How slow I'm going? And you die. So, as soon as you crouch, you want to uncrouch again. See how much faster that is? And you don't take as much damage. 
So the reason that happens is because while you're out of bounds like this, you see I'm falling, but I'm being teleported back up to where I was, and I'm just continuing to fall. So all this fall damage that I'm taking right now is just adding up constantly. As soon as I touch the ground, all that fall damage just... All that fall damage that accumulated just happens and I die. So you don't want to do that. So you want to clip through the ground, uncrouch as soon as you get out of bounds, and land right here as soon as possible. Uh, you'll usually only take half damage, although sometimes I've taken less than that, so... Sometimes I've ended up with green health, sometimes I've ended up with red health. Most of the time though you're going to end up with half health. So once you're on this little platform right here, uh, we want to get to where that armor is at. So you see these two bars right here? Uh, you want to jump around those. I'm going to make a quick save state here. If you don't jump around those like this, you can't go through that and you're stuck. You're stuck here. So you want to jump around those. See that? Uh, save state, come on. Yeah, there we go. So you want to jump around those and land up here. So now that we're through here, real quick though, I'm just going to kill some of these guys so that they don't bother me. You wouldn't actually have to kill these guys in a real speed run. I just don't want to lose a bunch of health. Alright, so you wouldn't have to kill those guys in a real speed run. So you jump up here, and there, there are these bars right here. So we want to jump over these bars, but you can see sometimes the game just doesn't let you. So there's a certain way that you have to do this. There's a certain way that you have to jump over the bars. And I'm going to make a save state again, so that I can show this multiple times. But that's what it looks like. You're not supposed to be able to get over this, or at least I don't think you are. Um, it's pretty easy. I don't, I don't see how the developers could have not known that you could do this. But it's really easy. You just like line yourself up parallel to this wall right here, and jump, and you, you'll just go right over it. See so if you line yourself up like perpendicular to this, you're not gonna get over that. You want to line up. Uh, parallel to this wall just like that and you'll get it every single time so you jump over this yeah I wasn't going fast enough though but if you're going fast enough you'll get it and you want to come around here yeah and I'm gonna just kill this guy because he's gonna bother me while I'm trying to show this so you wouldn't have to do all that so you just come around this corner and we're gonna do another wall clip right here. So, right in this little corner. You're gonna see this thing jutting out of the wall. It's next to this, like, broken door or whatever. So you wanna get here, and I used to look at this wall right here, but you actually wanna look at this wall. This is, That was the mistake that I was making. You wanna look at this wall, and then just do a normal clip. You go up to it, take a little step back, and clip. So once you do the clip though, once you do the clip, there's going to be this little metal bar right here and you can't get past that. So what you have to do is you have to actually jump over that bar. So jump over that bar and land right here. And just jump again to get back and bounce. Did I make a safe state there? No, I didn't. I think I can get past this guy. This is what you would do in a speed run. You just run right right past that guy. So do this clip. Wow. Alright, I'm kind of bad right now. But do that clip. So this is what we did all of that stuff for. This Ronin right here. This is what's going to help us save a lot of time in this level. So you open that door, which is really slow by the way. You go out here. So as soon as you go out here, you're just gonna get shot up by those snipers that I killed. There's gonna be one here, one here, and one there. If you want to, you can kill them, but you don't actually have to. If you just keep jumping like this, they're not gonna hit you. Well, that one probably will. 
probably why I shouldn't have killed those guys, but I'm gonna show this part again anyway. So you would grapple up here, shoot that guy, and go across. I'm gonna show this first part again, like what it would look like in a run. So that way uh, you can get an idea of what it would look like when you try to do it. There's some armor right here. If you got shot a bunch, you can come over here and grab this armor. And it's good. It only wastes a, a little bit of time. So you want to get your grapple out again. Grapple up here. And then just go down through this door. So jump down here. There can be a guy there, but he's not always there. Just whenever you see a bad guy right here, just just shoot him. Because they're going to shoot at you and take a lot of health away. So we're going to do something called the staircase jump. Uh, the staircase jump is a little bit tricky, but it's not that bad. What you want to do is you want to stand on this rail. I'm going to make a safe stay here, just so I can show this multiple times. You want to get on this rail, you want to jump toward um, this rail right here. You see this like step? It's kind of bent down a little bit. You want to jump toward that. So you want to get on the edge of this and jump toward it. You see that's what it looks like when you mess it up. I think mashing Y helps a little bit, but you want to jump just like that. Whoop. Yeah, just like that. It, it's pretty easy to do. You're just going to have to practice this a little bit, uh, just so you can get the, just so you can get a feel for it. It's pretty easy to do that part, so I didn't take a picture for some reason. I'm going to show this first section again. Just to show exactly what it would look like. Uh, and there are three more ways to do this first section, so I'm going to go over all of them. So, here's the, the method that we just did. So you take the picture. Flip through the ground. Jump. I didn't take the picture. I think I can just use a save state. Yeah. They've stayed. So take the picture. For real this time, take the picture. And do the clip. The clips are pretty tricky. But with enough practice, you can get them consistently. So jump over this. Go around here. And then finally get the Ronin. So you can see all that stuff went by really fast. You can go for the no scope there, or you can take a little bit of time and snipe them all. But you can see that I just ran right across that and they didn't even shoot me. So shoot this guy. Oh man, shoot this guy. Shoot that guy. And there's one guy left on this platform. But, you can see he's even shooting at me, but there's no way he's going to kill me. You can just leave him. You don't have to kill all the snipers, but you can if you want to. You just want to make sure that you kill the guy that's right here, because he's going to shoot at you while you're trying to grapple up this. So, there's usually a guy right there, you can kill him. gonna do the staircase jump. Oh, that wasn't gonna make it. Alright. So there's another way you can do this first section. Uh, and this one's a little bit different. Um, you want to take the picture while you're falling down, just like before, but we're gonna do the clip in this corner instead of the corner behind the, the wooden pallets. So you can see that's what it looks like. You just go up to it, take a little step back and clip through just like that you see and you'll land right here or right here so you want to go over to this uh, this hangar as soon as possible you're gonna be getting shot at by those guys and the rest of the level is pretty much the same you just go back here do this clip like before yeah if you want to if you want to speed run this level, you have to get down the wall clips. You you gotta. Like that's it's completely necessary for this level. 
but I'm going to show a way to do it if you don't want to do uh, all those clips. Oh man. Oh, I don't know how that made it. Oh wow. Alright, so I'm going to show the safe method. Oh wow. So that's the safe method. You can see that's way slower. And I'm going to grab this armor. I think I'm going to need it. Oh wow, I'm definitely going to need this armor now. So there's a time to there's a time and a place for everything and I think that was the time to grab the armor. You know, before I still had um, I had half health and full armor when I went across the first time. I didn't really need the armor then, but that time I definitely did. Or but this time I mean. To do the staircase jump. I said do the staircase jump. Wow, alright. Alright. So I'm gonna show all that one more time. Any snipers in the shadows will be much easier to look So by the way, the uh, the method where you go behind the wooden pallets is a little bit faster. I'd say it's like four, maybe five seconds faster. But I'm still gonna show this one anyway. So you go across here. I think this one's also a lot riskier too, because you have to run across the snipers twice. Not just once, like you did before. So you do the clip. I'm gonna be a little bit safe. You know, if you want to do this, this is fine. So that's the safest way to go about this. It's a lot slower, though. But I think it's easier to do. So if you want to do that, that's fine. Shoot that guy, and that should be everybody. So you can see I have green health, so I'm not gonna grab the armor. Oh well, I don't know, I'm gonna go for it. So get out the grapple. Go over here. So you might be thinking, uh, why are we going through all that effort to grab that Ronin? Wow, not all objectives complete, for real. Alright, I'm just going to skip to the next section real quick. So this is the second section of the level, and it's definitely the easier of the two. The first section is really complicated, there's a lot of clips and glitches and stuff. This section is pretty easy. What you want to do is you want to grab that armor right off spawn. You don't technically have to, but it just makes it a little bit easier. But then you want to jump along this railing right here and land down here. Kill this guy. You don't have to kill any of the other guys. You want to get out the Ronin. So, this is where we went here. You see this little bar. You want to put the Ronin down right there and jump on top of it. I'm going to make a save state here. You see the Ronin even shoots at the bad guys for you. So, you want to land, you want to sit on this little metal bar right here. This is where we're going to be standing on top of. So you want to stand on that bar and you want to jump toward that ladder. So, you want to press Y before you press forward or as you're pressing forward. And if you actually get it right, you'll grab the ladder just like that. It's really easy to do. I don't know why I failed it that first time. But you want to jump toward that ladder. Maybe the Ronin's too far away. That's one problem that you don't want to have. You want to make sure that the Ronin's close to the wall, but not quite in the corner. You don't want him right in the corner, because you could bonk this corner while you're trying to jump up there. You want to put him down and jump straight toward that ladder. It's really easy. And you obviously don't want to put him too far away, because, you know, just like you saw, Sometimes you may not reach the ladder. But once you get up here, we're going to do a wall clip on this pipe. So just like before, you want to go up to it, take a little step back, press up, 
X and right on the D-pad at the same time and clip through it. Wow. All right. All right. I see you. you want to land down here. What you actually want to do is you want to land on this metal bar right here. You want to land on that so you take less fall damage, but I didn't do that. I'm still alive though, so it's not that big of a deal. But if you have low health, just keep that in mind. So once you get up here, you go past these barrels, you want to take a picture. Just like before, you see how I was holding the C-stick forward? That's how you keep moving forward while you take the picture. Oh, and that's something you can do too, I didn't even mention that. You can jump up here, look up, and reach the sentinel. Not the sentinel, the, uh, the laser gun. Without having to actually jump toward it. And while you're going up to this exit, you want to be sure to jump into this garage door thing. You want to jump into that. So this this section is really easy. So once you, uh, I don't have a safe state at the very beginning, but it's really simple. Once you get over here to this Ronin, you place it down right here. Jump toward the ladder. So that Ronin was a little bit further away than I'd like it to be, but you can still make it if it's a little bit too far away. But you don't want it to be too far away, obviously. Right, so I'm having the same problems with clipping. So here's the metal bar I was talking about. You want to land on that. So you take no fall damage. See, I didn't even take my own advice here. While you're taking the picture, you want to look, you want to hold the C-stick forward. So that you move while you're taking the picture. Wow, I missed that. Are you serious? Alright. But that's fine. That's mission complete. I'm going to show this level with no glitches right now. So this first section with no glitches is a lot different than what you would do with glitches. So you want to get your camera out. And this is all the same, just like before. You want to take that picture. But you want to come over here instead and go down these little steps. And I'm not going to go into too much detail about this because you really shouldn't do this level with no glitches. Uh, in fact, if you want to do, you can do the Ronin glitch without having to do the wall clips. Like if you, if you don't like clipping, you can still do the Ronin glitch, which I would really recommend. But you have to be a lot more careful when you use no glitches because there are a lot more bad guys in this section if you don't use glitches. Way more bad guys. And they're all just gonna destroy you. So the rest of the first section is pretty much the same. Well, there is one part in the the warehouse building that's a little bit different. This building is called TR2, by the way, that I'm about to go into. So you grapple up here, and we're not going to do the staircase clip, or not the staircase clip, the staircase jump, but instead we're going to come around here. And wow, alright, yeah. So you're going to jump up here and land on this. Doing the, stair the staircase clip is quite a bit faster. Did I say staircase clip again? I, I keep meaning staircase jump. I'm so used to saying clips. But anyway, once you get to the second section, you want to shoot this guy. Did I not? So you want to kill that guy, you don't want to just shoot at him. So there's going to be between one and three guys in this room. So if there's one guy, then you know there are going to be three guys in the window. The number of people in the windows, which you can't really see, those three windows up there, the number of guys in the windows 
and in this room will always total up to four. So if you see one guy in here, that means there must be three people in the windows, three snipers. If you see three guys in this first room, that means there must be one sniper up there. So once you kill that guy, once you kill the guys in this room, come around here and shoot this guy. Shoot this guy. This guy likes to hide. Be sure to shoot him too. So reload while you're going across here. And another guy right there, he likes to hide too. You go up here. So there's one guy in that first room. So that must mean that there are three guys in the, the windows up there. There's two more. There's one. Two. I'm gonna have to reload here. Because I only have one bullet. But there are two guys up here. And then press Y to cross this cable. This is really, really, really slow. By the way, doing the Ronin jump saves so much time. It's not even funny how much time Ronin jumping saves. So don't do this unless you're just really, really against using glitches. Because Ronin jumping is just incredibly easy. So there's two things you can do here. You can do a small glitch that's pretty easy to do. You can jump across here and land on this little bar. Well, no, it's not really a bar. But you can land on this. You see, that's where we were. You land on this little... Uh, I don't even know what to call that. It's pretty easy to do. It saves a little bit of time. Or you can just press that button and wait for this to go across and then just jump over it like that. So if you're running low on armor, there's some armor in that room to the left. This is the problem with not doing the Ronin glitch, is that there are bad guys in this room now, which there weren't before. So when you do the Ronin glitch, there are no bad guys. But now there are. So that glitch that I just did where you jump up to the laser, that's super easy to do and you should always do that. If not, you would climb up those stairs. But the that laser glitch is so easy to do. So that's pretty much the end of the level right there. That's mission complete. But I'm going to show you real quick how to get the Ronin with no glitches. In case you don't want to do the wall clips, but you still want to do some glitches. I'm going to show you that real quick. So you take the picture. Go down here. Did I not photograph the jetpack? That happens a lot. Sometimes, uh, sometimes you don't photograph the jetpack. You should. For some reason, it just doesn't work all the time. I'm almost certain that that worked. Yeah, you see objective complete at the top of the screen? That means it worked. So you want to get out your grapple. You want to jump up here. And you can just grapple up here. You want to kill this guy. Get out your laser and get on top of this thing, whatever it is. Use your laser right here. Wow, alright, this is bad. But you want to use your laser right there and you can get the Ronin without doing any glitches. And then you would just do the rest of this first section like you normally would. Uh, and then once you get to the second section you do the Ronin jump. So I'm going to show what this looks like at full speed. I'm going to show you exactly what I would do in a speed run. So you go down here like this, take the picture, go to these pallets, clip through the floor, land on that platform, jump over that little gate,
do this clip. So there's actually another way to do this level, believe it or not. There's there's many ways to do, to do this level, but uh, the new method is actually a lot harder. So I'm going to make a video specifically about that one. Um, but the new method that got discovered pretty recently, uh, I said earlier in the video that uh, V-Man discovered a new way to do this level. I'm going to make an entire video just for that one trick because it's extremely hard to do. Well at least it, it shouldn't be hard to do but for some reason I can't really do it right. So I'm going to make its own video about that. But basically it involves a way to clip into this building without having to go across the cable uh, and fight all those snipers and everything. Basically. With the new method, you can complete the entire level while killing zero people. It's pretty awesome. So I'm going to grab that armor just to be safe. So you want to switch to your fists right here, get out the Ronin, place it down. I placed it pretty far away, but I still managed to make it up there. So, clip through the floor, land on the bars. You want to let go of the laser right there. Do you see that? So, uh, because if you just keep holding R on the NTSC version, uh, the laser will overheat if you just hold R the entire time. On the PAL version, you can just hold R the whole time. So that's how you do chain reaction. If you have any questions about this level, uh, please let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to help you out. And I'm going to make another video about new way of doing this level uh, sometime in the future.